Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here uh, getting ready to work on this week's 52 Tags Handmade, the challenge uh, by Ann Brooks, where we are kind of like slow stitching and we're making one tag per week. So this week's challenge was to use bits and pieces. This is my little uh, bits and pieces uh, kind of it's like a little snack ziploc bag type of thing and i just throw all my little pieces that i have left from things uh in here you know just like this little pieces like that i throw them all in here and i do need to use some so or else i'm gonna have to start another bag right so because it's pretty full but i did pull all my pieces that i'm using tonight out of here and then also before the video i don't know if you remember the first week of this challenge we made this white uh you know it was a white theme and we were stitching on white pieces and i put a white bunny on here and a white button and a blue button i did add a blue button too at the top here as a little topper but anyway that's turned out super super cute and i had more of these bunnies left so tonight before the video i painted them i wanted to i kind of like you know, I didn't know if I wanted to paint them, but I was like, you know, I'm just going to do like what Pam from the Paper Outpost says. I'm just going to craft with reckless abandon, right? <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just going to paint them. If I don't like them, I'll just, I don't know what I'll do with them. But so I got out, I had my yellow and, uh, let me see, I, yeah, here's the other one. I had my yellow and my green paint out because I was, the journal I started a couple days ago, if you watched that video with the bunny. Um, I painted the one plain cover, I painted it green, but I had yellow and green out here as an option. I didn't know what color I wanted to paint it. I knew it was going to be yellow or green. I painted it green. Anyway, I'll show you that in another video. But I painted this bunny green. These two are pink. Let's see. So here's the yellow and green right here. I don't have the pink here. Uh, I don't know what I did with the pink. I think I put it all way out ready. It's just these little, you know, little plastic bottles of paint that you get at Walmart. I got mine at Walmart, I'm sure. And then, uh, so green, pink. This one I left white, and then this one I painted yellow. But I'll tell you what I did after I painted them. I used some of my, you know, uh, photo, vintage photo. Just this right here, Distress uh, Ink Oxide uh, ink or whatever. And um, just took my little brush, used this right here, the one I used for distressing, the little eye... I, I, um, shadow brush and rubbed over them with that because I wanted to I just wanted to see what it looked like you know and I kind of kept that in mind I'm just crafting with reckless abandon <laughs> whatever happens happens you know what I mean so um as you can see uh this one these two are pink but you can kind of see where I have the distress ink over them and it gives it kind of a and old, you know, they look they don't look brand new. They look old, right? That's that was kind of the I the goal. This one is the green one with the distress on there. So I think that was that one's really pretty. I like them all. I like how they turned out. I'm thinking about using this one tonight. It was the yellow. And this one just had the perfect little spots on it for to pick up the ink like the uh little um, whiskers were raised and the little eyeballs on this one were raised so when i lightly dusted it over with that um eye eyeshadow i always want to say eyebrow eyeshadow brush it just picked up the distress ink on the perfect spots so i think that one is really probably my favorite so i might be using that one tonight and then I thought, well, I'll just leave one white and distress a white one and see how that comes out. And I like that one, too, a lot. So there's that one. Hopefully, hopefully the camera's picking it up and you can see how cute this one would look. I mean, any of them would look cute on here. See that one? There's the white one. See, this? these colors have all kind of like pinks and blues and greens, so any of them would look cute on there. Here's a pink one. That one would look cute, too, wouldn't it? So there's the pink one. And then here's the other pink one. This one's a little bit brighter. I put a little bit more pink on this one. I was just, you know, trying it out. But I have this pink Rick Rack here, too. So that's kind of picking up the pink on the bunnies. And then this one is the yellow. And see, there's some yellow right here. So that one would be more subdued, but still really cute. So 
I think I'm going to use the yellow one, but now I need to get this stitched together before this my time is up. So the bits and pieces that I picked out, I'm going to try and <laughs> take them off now. So I can, well, I don't need to take them all off. I just need to pick this up and trim the extra that's hanging over. I just wanted to, you know, do this together with you tonight. So I have a little extra. And most of this is fabric, except for I have a piece from my vintage tablecloth I've been using. I'm going to cut that off at the top. And I have a piece of Rick Rack. And this is a piece of lace. Um, I don't know what this is from. But it's a pretty piece of lace there, too. It might be from another. I don't know what it's from. Something lacy. Anyway, so that's how that is. See, this, so this I cut this off. I'll put that back in the bag. And then all these pieces are out here. I have just in case I need another piece of, a little piece of, you know, any of these pieces. I just wanted to have them handy out of the bag so that I didn't, you know, have to fumble around with that on camera. So I've got that ready to stitch down and my backing is a piece of linen. Let's see, I'll show you. This right here, I just had a strip of this in one of my other scrap bags. So um, I have a bag with bigger scraps and this is like, if you can see it, it's a really kind of, Nice piece of linen there, so I already strung or threaded this needle with some pink embroidery floss, so I thought I'd start with that and see where I, how far I get with stitching this down and together. So um, maybe I'll start with this Rick Rack and just kind of do a little straight stitch here so that we can get that pinned down. So I don't have to worry about that falling off. So maybe a straight stitch, like a running stitch. I'm going to get that tacked down. And it's pink, so it blends in, right? <laughs> uh, pretty cool. And I just pulled, you know, I don't have a lot of embroidery floss, so I just pulled from what I had. And I knew I had, well, this is, uh, do I have more pink in there? Let's see, where's my little bag? Here's my little bag of what I have that I uh, haven't opened. So I have yellow and green in there. I have some like royal blue, some red, and that's, and I have some laces and things in there too. Those are all my like scrap bits in that bag, plus some new embroidery floss that I haven't opened. And then I have a couple more new embroidery flosses over there in my box, which is yellow, blue, and orange. So I figured those weren't gonna go with tonight's project. So I pulled out my blue and my pink. And it's a light blue, and I'll show you. I only have a little piece of it. But if I need it, it will go. It will go with this tag. And, you know, nobody said we had to use the same color. So it's bits and pieces. And I'm trying to hold on to this and sew and hold all these pieces together. But, yeah, bits and pieces. And then um, something that was uh, given to you is what we're supposed to use this week. And we can do whatever stitch we want. And uh, so I might, I don't know, we'll see what stitches we do. I like to do some crosses or X's. And I like to maybe do some French knots. So if I can get it done in, in my allotted time here, which I forgot to start my timer. Let me get that going. Just a second. Well. Maybe I won't get it going. It's take too, taking too long, so we'll just we'll just go with it here and see what happens. So I hope if you're doing this challenge, I hope you're enjoying it, or maybe uh, getting inspired to just do a little slow stitching, you know, or just some kind of stitching. <laughs> you know, it could be fast stitching. Maybe you're just going to do a couple of stitches here and there, and that could be pretty quick. Okay, so I'm not, I'm going pretty straight. I'm not really worrying about if my stitches are the same size or anything like that. I'm just kind of getting this little piece of Rick Rack stitched down here. And so then we're going to go and let's see what we want to do next. Oops, there, okay, yeah, I thought I almost made a knot. Okay, so that is down. Let's see, my lace is trying to move here, so let me put that back where it goes. Okay, so next, I think I will go down the middle with an X. 
and I have that much thread left so let's see where we get I'm going to pull this part up a little bit so I have plenty of thread there and so let's do the X next and see how that goes so I'm just going to do a little X as the best I can see am I doing it right yeah this does take a little time I hope everyone's having a good week now that we're into March Excited for spring, right? I am. It's uh, a little warmer this week here. It's last week and the last couple weeks. It seems like it hardly got um, hardly got into the 40s, except for two days last week where it was really warm and got up to like 68 or something like that. That was awesome. <laughs> and then, okay, I'm trying to get my X in the right spot here. I uh, do need to get them in the right, get the thread in the right spot if it's actually going to look like an X. Might look more like a cross. We'll see. Let's go in the right direction. There we go. I <laughs> got a little X. Yeah, that, that'll be cute if I can manage to get X's here. But um, yeah, so uh, this week we're getting up to 50, about 50 today. And then the rest of the week I think is supposed to be like mid to, uh, let me not get a knot here, mid to high 50, so a little warmer, which is nice, and then we'll see what happens next week. But last year, here, it was a cold spring. It, like, I usually plant a garden, and I really couldn't plant it for fear of, um, you know, a frost or anything like that or even a freeze till the end of May. And that's kind of a very, you know, it's kind of unusual for here because some marches have been where, you know, you March comes, I mean, most marches are a little cool, but we've had marches where, you know, it's just hot, <laughs> you know, right off the bat, it's just a hot March. You know, we can plant our gardens right in March, you know what I mean? We don't have to wait for April, but, uh, We'll see what happens next week. I don't know if I'm going to plant an actual vegetable garden this year. My garden, I don't can't say it was exactly successful last year. Or so, I mean, I grew some tomatoes, but they weren't. I think I bought the wrong kind of tomato, so I didn't really like them. And then uh, everything else. Let's see what else did, did anything else grow. I grew some beautiful. Uh, Pumpkin vine, but no pumpkin. <laughs> Have you guys ever done that? You could grow on a beautiful pumpkin vine, but no pumpkins. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing wrong? You know what I mean? Because I've grown a pumpkin before, but last year, but no pumpkin. <laughs> so, but the vine was absolutely gorgeous. It grew so big and green and it grew all over the place. It was beautiful. Okay, so we're almost to the bottom here with our X's. I think I really like these pink X's. That's that's one thing. They're adorable. Okay, so I may have to change my thread after this. We'll see how much we have left. I can use up this thread, though, because, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. Might as well use up this thread and not have to put any little remnants back in my little bag. Okay, there. So there's my X's. They're small, but they're right there. There's my line of straight stitches. So let's see what I, how much I have left. I have a little bit left here. Let me pull this again tight so I have as much thread as possible. Well, you know what? This is a long needle too. I don't know if I can make French knots with this. I just put it on because I knew I wasn't, wasn't going to I didn't think I would make French knots with this, so maybe I'll save um, the blue for French knots and just stitch some more fabric down with this. So let's make a couple of like little straight stitches over here across this. I gotta keep this straight so it doesn't pull from underneath and pull it together. But we'll make a couple of straight stitches across this lace and get that kind of tick tack down and then we'll grab our our blue and the bunny's going to go on top of here so 
these stitches may even be covered up, but I wanted to go ahead and just, like I said, use up this thread and get everything tacked down too. Okay. All right, now how much do I have left? Maybe one more. <laughs> Let's see if I can get one more out of here. What else do I need to tack down? I'm gonna to go to the side here and tack this little piece down right here. See, I didn't really have a plan. I kind of had a thought of what I wanted to do, but not really, you know, planned out or anything like that. Just thought, I'm just gonna see what happens. Okay, I think I have enough to make a little knot here, hopefully. It's gonna be glued down so I don't have to really make a super, super knot or anything. Okay, I think I got a pretty good little tie off there. I'm gonna cut this off. Sometimes I save my little threads like this to put through a button, you know, to make it look like it's sewn down or something like that. It makes a nice little thread to put through a button. So I do save those and don't throw them away. Okay, so here's where we are and I'm done with that needle and then I have my blue one ready to go here. See, I have a little bit of thread on there. I think I will use this to make some French knots. Got to tie a little knot in the bottom here. Get this going. And we'll see if we can finish this tag before my time runs out and my camera cuts me off. I know I'm always, always worried about that, right? Hopefully when I get a new phone, uh, I won't have to worry about that. Maybe my new phone will let me make, you know, go a couple minutes over so I could finish and not have to worry about that. But we'll see when I get my new phone. One of these days soon, hopefully. So, okay, so here's a French knot. I'm just gonna do like maybe a couple times around so it can be a little bit bigger and be seen, if you know what I mean. So here's one here. I like those loose loose French knots I was doing on the last when we did the French knots last week. So see, there's that's a loose one there, <laughs> nice and loose. So let's go up and do, and that'll be tacking this down. So I'm going to do a little row right here on the side of this. These two pieces that are coming together, these two little pieces of fabric, and then um, that'll tack down this these two pieces with a couple of loose French knots. Okay, and then, let's see, let me put one over here. See this little piece is loose? I'm gonna put one over here, another little blue French knot. It's not like it all has to be really sewn down tightly or anything either. Plus I'm putting that bunny on top, so that'll hold everything together, of course. And that's going to be glued on. That's how I did it before. And the other one I showed you at the beginning here, I glued it on with Fabri-Tec. So everything is basically uh, sewn down now and, you know, kind of tacked down with the stitches. I've got a little bit of blue here left. So let's do a couple more little blue stitches. But over here, let's see, let's do them over here where you can, they're not going to be up under the bunny. <laughs> this one, I don't think that one will be under the bunny. But we'll see. I don't think it will be. Okay, I think I've got enough to do one more French knot here, maybe. And then tie it off in the back. And I'll have used up those two pieces of thread. Okay, yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. Not press my luck here. And tie off a little... Let's tie off a little knot. Or what looks might might look like a little knot. Okay, yeah, I think that's yeah. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna take that needle off, cut this off. I've got two little tags here. I was thinking I might make two, but I don't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that on video. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. Yeah, my bunny will definitely be co covering up some because here's the bunny. Let's see, so if I put him right here, see, he'll be right in the middle. I was thinking of putting this up here as a little topper. This was on something else that I took off, took it off of something else. So that's why it has some paper and some stitching there on it. I don't know if you could see that, but you know, I might put it under here and put this on top. Let me see how that looks. 
I think I, yeah, I do like that. I kind of just need to decide right now, though, how I'm going to put do it under. I might cut this off at the bottom here, too. It's a little, ended up being a little uneven there, so I could cut that off. Put that like that or like that. Oh, I think I like it on top. Kind of, kind of covers up the rough edges there. Yeah, okay, it's going to be like that. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, Fabri-Tac. I'm going to go back to this one. Let's get that going. And get this little tag finished up. I think I'll put my Fabri-Tac on the tag. And then get everything glued down here. That's how I've been, I've been gluing everything onto my tags and not sewing through the tag because I'm not really putting my tag through, uh, I'm not putting my tag on the ring like, uh, every, you know, like Ann is, and I'm using them in my journals or wherever, you know, I want, not just, you know, keeping them on a, on a ring. So, okay, we're going to put this here. Let me look at the back real quick and see where everything is. I'm going to pull this up a little bit if I can. Looks like it's already catching there, but I think I got it. Okay, so there we go. It's down. I'm going to glue this on. Just with a little bit of Fabri-Tac here at the bottom of this, this is a little crochet piece. It's like half a doily, half a little tiny doily that I took off of something. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, I just took it off of something. And so we're going to put that right there. Wait, let me, let me place that again. Okay, there we go. I want to do a little bit more down on the fabric and on the tag. It was ab above this part of the tag right here. So I want it below that so it can stick down good. So we'll let that sit there so it can dry. And then my bunny, my yellow bunny, going right in the middle. And this is how I did it last time. I just put Fabri-Tac on him, glued him down. Sorry if I'm shaking you. I was hitting my table with my leg there when I was shaking my glue. So I'll move back a little bit. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to glue him down right in the middle. I think something like that. So this could end up in my bunny journal. So I've got two bunny tags now. See the difference? So let's, uh, I think I have another second here. If I don't, I'll say thank you for watching now in case my camera cuts me off and happy crafting. But in case it doesn't, let's, this is what I'm doing. Cutting this off at the end. Even if I cut off stitching, I just want to cut it even there. See how good that looks now? Let's see, is it even? I think I got a little bit of, I don't want to cut it above my tag. I don't want to cut my tag off, but I think it is done. Is everything the way I want it? Straight and on? I think so. Yep, I think I like it. See this one? Here's the white one. Here's this week's. So this one is color with the bunny. This is white with the bunny. Very cute, right? Isn't this fun? All right. Thank you, Anne, for another great uh, challenge this week. And uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. And I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.